Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to Gate CSE 2003, guys. Okay, so the question is: Let G is equals to V comma E be an undirected graph with a subgraph G1 with vertices V1 comma E1. Okay, so there is a bigger graph which is undirected graph, and in that graph we are taking a small graph. Okay, so weights are assigned to edges of G as follows. A single source shortest path is executed on the weight v comma e comma w. Okay, so with an arbitrary vertex v1 of v1 as the source. Okay, so we assumed v1 as the source. Okay, so which of the following can always be inferred for the path cost computation? Okay, so here they gave zero if e belongs to e1, otherwise one. Okay, so option A states that the number of edges in the shortest path from V1 to all the edges. Okay, okay, okay. So the second option says that G1 is connected. Okay, V1 forms a click in G. Okay, so G1 is a tree. Okay, okay. So let us interpret the question once again, guys. I think I am not getting that much clarity with respect to the question. Okay, so let us try to draw a small graph and G1 is the subgraph of it. So A, B, C, D and E. Okay. So assume that this is our graph G and I am drawing G1 which is a subgraph of it. Okay. B, C and D. I removed the edge, edge this E vertex. That's it. Okay. Yes. So weights are assigned to edges of G as follows. So this is the weight assumption for G. Okay. So if... 0 if e belongs to e1 so this e belongs to e1 right yes so basically here vertices are v1 sorry v and e here they are v1 and e1 okay so if the edge belongs to e1 the weight will be 0 0 0 0 and the rest everywhere it will be 1 got it yes so now we have assigned the weights okay so now the question is and single source shortest path algorithm is executed on the weighted graph g okay so on this particular graph you are uh, starting a sorry you are starting the single source shortest path so single source shortest path always starts from particular point right okay so for now let us keep that point aside so with an arbitrary vertex v1 okay so here they are saying it might be anything so basically arbitrary means they don't consider which it is particularly it might be anyone okay so they are saying v1 okay so for our assumption let us take e as our starting point okay Yes, I'll be writing this here, okay, of the source. So, which of the following can always be inferred for, from the path cost computed? Okay, so now they are asking, based on path cost, what can you say? Okay, so now we are getting some idea, right? Yes. So, the first option says that the number of edges in the shortest path from V1 to all vertices, we can say. So, it is saying we can say from V1 to all vertices of G. Okay, so all vertices of G1 we can say it seems so once uh, you observe one thing guys So the thing here is uh, you cannot reach a B and D right sorry We can reach a B and D right so with the cost of zero so basically let us write first the path cost guys So at that time I think it will be a bit clear right yes So from here to here you can go at a cost of one right I am writing in terms of discuss graph okay yes Similarly here to here you can go at a cost of one Right, yes. So from here to here, you can go at a cost of 1. Similarly, from here to here, you can go at a cost of 1. Right? Yes. Okay. So now based on this, what are you uh, identifying or what can we say is the question, right? Yes. So option A says that the number of edges in the shortest path. Okay. So we are going to find the shortest path from V1 to all vertices. Okay. So I think this option doesn't make any sense, right? Okay, so let it be, let it, let's keep it aside for now. So let us come to the next option. So G1 is connected. Okay, graph G1 is connected. Okay, so in our example, it is connected. Okay, V1 forms a click in G. Okay, so the basic idea of click, I think most of you might be knowing and few of you might not be knowing, right? So basically click is nothing but a part of a graph or a subset of a graph, which is a complete graph, guys. Okay, so here they are saying V1 forms a click, right? Yes, but the question is, so is it 100% sure that V1 forms a click, guys? So in our example, E formed a click, it's okay. But what if I took A as the source vertex? So then is A a click, guys? No, hence this option is absolutely wrong, guys. Okay, similarly, moving on to G1. So G1 is saying that it is a tree. 
okay so what is this statement guys i think this statement is absolutely wrong because we told with a subgraph g1 so it is a subgraph means it might have loop also so in our example also we took a loop so hence this option is also wrong so now i am left out with a and b okay so what a option is saying i am not getting that much clear idea so the option what it is saying is the number of edges in the shortest path from u1 to all vertices will be known okay so the number of edges in the shortest path okay so this is wrong right because here few edges of weights are zero right because of our condition hence with that you can say that this option is wrong because in between e and b how many edges are there we are having two edges but according to our understanding the length is one only hence this option is absolutely wrong okay so the only conclusion which we can conclude is g1 is connected the only reason why g1 is connected because so g1 is a subset of g right yes so if you take some part of this so you are going to draw a connected one right yes okay yes so now i hope everyone got some basic idea right so i am 100% not sure about b but i am sure about that a c and d are wrong guys okay you also got an idea right so because option c is having this click issue so basically if i assume a as the starting point then it will not be a click hence that is wrong similarly g is not a tree so from the question only you can say similarly this is a saying that you if i say b you are going to say with the help of this path value you are going to say how many edges are in between that so we cannot say that right so because there are two edges here but it is saying only one edge so hence that's wrong also wrong so by this conclusion we can say b is the correct answer okay yes so now i hope everyone got some basic idea on this sir so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you